Hi, my lovely people. We're going to jump right into this one. Boy, when I tell you misery loves company, misery loves company. Olivia, if that was a poster, they could have your picture in there. I'm pretty sure somewhere in some dictionary where they have that statement. Baby, your picture is right next to it, honey. So let's get right on into it. All right, we got Olivia going live back to back. She's going live talking about the gym. She's going live throwing shade at Jasmine. She's going live coming up with lullabies about her dad at this point. Now, let me just say something. You have to realize what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Olivia. You are dealing with a woman that has daddy issues, mommy issues, man issues, mental issues, financial issues, and overall mental health issues, okay? So she gets on here and she keeps saying, oh, you know, I was talking to my dad and even though my dad never really uh, messed with me and never came around me, never bought me nothing, never paid child support, I still know that he loves me. Girl, what kind of statement is that? I mean, come on. If somebody truly loves you, they ain't going to stay away from you. If somebody truly loves you, they're going to be in your life. You are way past the age of 18 and grown. So if your daddy ain't coming around or being around you, but just dropping you a phone call here and there, honey, you really need to figure out that issue between you and him. Because whatever issue you have with your daddy is lingering into your relationships with men. You throw away good men and you praise bad men. That's the first sign of daddy issues. Been there, done that. And honey, you need to really take a glimpse of that. All right. I know one thing. I am so sick of Olivia getting on here pretending that she is, oh, I'm on here trying to uplift people. I'm on here trying to tell women that they that bitch because I'm that bitch. And girl, first off, how is you uplifting anybody? When you is so low down on the ground and you can't even lift yourself up, getting on here talking about how people look and what you look like and you can rock short hair, you can rock long hair. Honey, that has nothing to do with your mental mentality or the life that you live in. You are sitting on a bed, okay? A bed in a room that we have seen is filthy, dirty, nasty, trifling, clothes is laying around. The room is as cluttered as your brain. Your room, let me repeat that again, is as cluttered as your brain, okay? You got some hoarding issues and tendencies going on over there too. Too, all right because you wear the same things all the time but you got all this stuff but that's a whole nother reaction but girl you sitting on the bed at night and before you lay down at night the first and last thing that you think of before you go to sleep and dream you think about youtube you think about jasmine you think about going on here and throwing shade we don't care if you go walk on a treadmill for eight hours if we was popping diet pills that was full of caffeine and if we was out here doing, you know, the white girl powder on the side and we had all that energy, honey, we'd be doing that too because we wouldn't know what else to do. And you have nothing else to do. You have no friends. You have no family. You have no nothing. You got on here last night saying that your mom and AJ that they left for a while. Duh. Raquel need to see her baby too. You don't get to have them all to yourself. So whoever's baby that is, they need to see him too. And Stella need a break from you. And that's why they took off and they left. They don't want to be around you. Everything that you touch goes to shit. I'm pretty sure when you got off that damn treadmill, it just turned into a big old turd. When you walked into the gym and left, that was a toilet. I mean, girl, get over yourself, Olivia. Okay? You get on here and you say, well, you're supposed to have confidence. Everybody's supposed to have confidence. Everybody's supposed to have self-esteem. But it's the esteem of your motherfucking self. It's not something that you get on here and then you think you're going to talk down to people like you better than somebody else. First off, looks will only get you so far. And baby, I ain't saying that you got them, but I'm letting you know, looks will only go so far. You could be a beauty queen, but honey, if you only been through eighth grade and dropped out of eighth grade, you ain't got no uh, GED. You ain't got no college diploma. You don't talk with any kind of educational sense you are obviously bipolar and shit then you are not a complete person you can't keep your kids you can't keep a man you can't keep nothing in your house so that makes you an absolute nobody when you get on here and you try to tell somebody that you somebody they have something to back it up like you know what i'm somebody you know what i'm pretty i got a career i got a college degree or something have something that's all I'm saying. You can't get on here and think that your looks going to get you very far. Because, baby, if it is what you are riding on, you think that your looks are going to get you somewhere. That's why you are where you are now. Honey, we done seen that house that you live, that squalor you living in. You can't figure out which way to come or go. You can't figure out if you want to get on here and talk about Jasmine. You can't figure out if you want to come out here and talk about yourself. You one shady person. Let me watch my language. You one shady person, okay? 
Girl, you are very, very sick and very, very slick. Something is wrong with you inside the head and ain't nobody at this point going to be able to fix it but Jesus because everybody else pumps your head up. You think you're doing something by sitting over there with no mods and letting people talk about you so that you have somebody to argue with. You just don't want Jasmine to be your mod. So you don't want to put no more mods out there. But honey... You think also by arguing with the people that talk about you in the comments make you look good. Girl, you are a bit slow. Like you get out here calling people slow, slow. Honey, you better go get you a test. And if you were so confident the way that you say you all that bitch, then let me tell you something. If you were confident you was all that, you wouldn't be going getting things done like getting lip injections. You wouldn't be going getting hair extensions. You wouldn't be piling and caking on makeup every time you get on here. You wouldn't be trying to uh, lift them cantaloupes that's busting through every shirt that you have. Because see, if you thought you was all that, you'd be all that regardless. So that lets us know that you don't think you all that. And we all looking at you knowing you ain't all that. But it just lets us know that you are real jacked up i mean if you're gonna keep getting on here and riding on this girl and i mean jasmine and you know that you can do it because you know she's weak and she's demented and she doesn't know what to do then that makes you a, a bully and a sick person because girl you already said what you had to say a new subject move on every single time you click on here you try and deflect and move around from comments oh i'm not gonna talk about her don't put her name down there but then in the same token i'm just trying to tell her she beautiful and she don't deserve to be getting bopped upside the head girl you so twisted with your words and demented then guess what <laughs> You, you already, I can't even say that what's going to come back to you because, honey, you getting it enough. Yeah, but, honey, when these court papers come out, I think a lot of people are going to lose a lot more respect for you. And then you sitting over there, I'm all that in a bag of chips looking sunburnt, look like a dried up tomato. Girl, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm telling you, it's something about Olivia that, y'all, I can't, I can't listen to her talk too long. I'll tell you that. All that whiny, thinking that she all that. Girl, boo, if you was all that, you should have stood there saying that to Gerard. Uh, and Nisha and Denisha's sister, when she came up there and told you exactly about yourself, if you thought you was all that, you would have stood up and told her what you thought you was. But instead, you ran away like the uh, puppet, scary little bit that you are. Okay? That's another thing. Because you ain't going to always be on the internet telling everybody, you know, pump faking. Oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But in person, you ain't going to do nothing but melt like a chocolate on a 90 degrees day. Good boo. Y'all. I just had to talk about her for a minute because she's really irking me. She thinks she's doing something and honey, watch this bomb blow up in her face here very, very shortly. I'm going to see y'all down in the comments. I just need to check in with this whack whack.